Hello boys and girls, I am back and today uh, we are going to film a very unique and special video for you here um, because I came up with this idea to try to go back to my roots and try to go back to the place where I grew up and film it for you. It's been so many years since I was here and uh, it's going to be a surprise for me just as it is for you. So yeah, I'll try my best to remember some situations or stories from my childhood that are connected to certain places that uh, we are going to film for you and I think this is going to be fun. So much changed and at the same time nothing really changed. This is crazy. I have such mixed feelings right now. It's weird. Well, this is the building where I was basically raised. This is like a big condo that uh, back in the day used to be like a place for uh, students that were studying medicine. Uh, like the government was giving this to the, all the students that were studying and practicing medicine and my mother was one of them so her and her friends uh, they started living together in this like small apartment three girls uh, students uh, roommates I guess they became best friends and uh, later on uh, uh, those two girls became my became my godmothers later on the people that were living here all those like people that were once students they bought this property from the government so it became like um, private you know uh, so we stayed here and lived here all my childhood and my um, while I was a teenager I guess uh, yeah, the building didn't change much. It kind of, kind of looks the same, a little bit post-Sovietic like. And, and so if you see over there all those like little squares, white squares, this is how it all was. It was all made like that. This used to be an elevator. It used to work. It's not working for years. So it, this elevator stopped working while I was still living here. And uh, I left this place when I was 17 when my whole family moved to Italy. So it's been a while. <laughs> oh my god, these stairs look so familiar. I'm not even sure if anybody I grew up with still live here or have family here. So we're going to go to the floor number four. Uh, and we used to live in different apartments on different floors actually, but the most part was uh, on the fourth floor. And we still have a room there. I can't even call it an apartment. It's kind of abandoned. I don't have a key, unfortunately. nice. Here, <laughs> this is the elevator I was talking about. You know how many times I got stuck in it? A lot. Wow, <laughs> this is emotional to be honest. Number 77. And uh, yeah, this is 
where I grew up. It's been a while since somebody tried to open this door. There's so much dust. dust. So, yeah, I mean, here. And for you to understand pretty much, our apartment was this wide. From here, this half goes to that, those people. So it's wide from here and to here. That's it. That is how wide the whole apartment is. And it's not, I think it's like a square, so it's not like more, too long either. Uh, like a little studio with very small bathroom and very small kitchen. <laughs> yep. That's it. I I'm very tempted to go in, but I don't have the keys, unfortunately. This was not planned. I just decided to do this. Let's go. These are the actual stairs that we were using um, when I used to live here. The ones that we um, came up on uh, were closed for some reason. I don't know, the only one part of the house was in, in use. So these are the exact ones that I used to walk when I was small. This was just as shaky when I was a kid. <laughs> so, there is another floor. This right here, my friends, is the entrance to the roof, the actual roof of the house. And I spend a lot of nights and days on that roof studying and, you know, being emo kid or something, I don't know. It, it's a very unique and iconic place because I wrote my first lyrics, poems, I guess, there when I was like 14 uh, with my best friend from school. Uh, me and her, we used to come here, hang out with like on a blanket and just talk about how difficult the life of a teenager is. <laughs> talk about school and just write a lot. So yeah, unfortunately it's impossible to go up there because it's all sealed because probably kids are going there and being kids <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool actually I wish I could go there Do you have a key to the house? Yes So you can go and go to the house? How do you do it? Yes, it's all different see we managed to get inside the apartment where I grew up and it was pretty scary experience because uh, nobody was living in there for a lot of time and it's like falling apart but at least you can have some footage about the sizes of the place and about the location and the conditions I grew up with but I yes I'm so emotional right now it's it's a mixture of sadness and um, happiness and um, um, melancholy all together um, yeah Let's go. we used to have a dog uh, growing up and it was a rottweiler a really big one too and we used to just uh, you know walk him around this area um, out and he knew all, like commands and stuff so this place over here I would always say jump and he would jump but I was so small that this was so high for me I was like this jump <laughs> this is not as tall apparently everything looks so much smaller it's like a miniature version of the things I used to have in my childhood. 
looks that way. There's another little cool secret that I'm gonna tell you. I also had my first kiss around here and um, it was really, really cool. I was, you know, a teenager and super, super shy. And I was against that wall actually when that guy kissed me. So this wall is like a very important wall, <laughs> I guess. It was a nice kiss, by the way. I remember it. It was a nice one. <laughs> yeah, everything is so much more different. So this parking area was not here. It was just like a little hill uh, that went into like this little park area with trees. We used to love this place in the winter because we would like a slide, you know, down the hill and have fun here, but it's not there anymore. Also, like a lot of kids in my neighborhood uh, it used to call me out to go play just by coming here and screaming my name because <laughs> My, the windows are over there, um, not the first pair, the second pair of windows is where, you know, my apartment used to be, where I grew up. So they would be like, Lena, come out! And I would be like, no, I have to study! Or, yeah, okay, I'm coming! <laughs> no cell phones, no nothing, no internet at the time, not, not even a local, like, phone, home number. Nothing. Also, uh, one of my favorite places to play, because we didn't really have many places to play, was these two houses in construction forever. I would say even abandoned uh, when I was a kid. And we used to play here. So one is finished fully, fully, like I think people already live there. And the other one is not, is still in construction. And I don't think it's going to ever be anything. I don't even know what it was supposed to be. But yeah, we used to play there, hide and seek and everything, everything. Like, especially because I, I grew up around boys, so they would like climb everywhere and get hurt. So I did as well. <laughs> this looks really scary and sketchy, to be honest. I bet a lot of drug addicts and homeless people live here or use this place just like it was when I grew up we used to play and just find random needles and like some clothes or like fucking condoms pretty hardcore <laughs> now that I think about it it's probably a way to go up there but I just don't want to do that I, I hope you forgive me for not doing that so now I would like to share with you this little Cool area. It's like the way that I used to take to go to school when I was small. The school is not too far from here and we used to go by ourselves, no buses or anything. So um, yeah, we used to just go from the house this way and we are going to try to go to the same direction. I don't know. Let's go. I used to love this so much. Like growing up, me and my friends, we would like just eat this. Just raw, green, not ready fruit. <laughs> this looks pretty good, I think. Everything looks so different. Let's go this way. I used to do this on the way to school, I remember. Just so I can walk slowly.
This is um, weird now. It has like a weird smell right now. I think they are just something is in construction, but it used to be just like garage area, parking area, car fixing area. I have no idea. But we used to go this way, all the kids to school. Work in progress. There used to be dogs here, like homeless dogs hanging around and it was actually pretty scary to come back from school this way because they would like start barking and attacking even. I got uh, bit here as well. All these areas, like industrial areas, are half abandoned now. So I, I don't know if they're in use or not. Hardcore. <laughs> I should uh, take a photo shoot with the band here, I think. It looks pretty infected. <laughs> Here now. <laughs> She's a bottom model. Look at this belly you got. What you doing in all this belly out? He is so sweet, my sweet baby. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I can't move now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I think people give her food. She looks very happy. You look happy, puppy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, this is the school I grew up in, literally. Elementary school, middle school, and high school all together was here. This building over there used to be called school number 39. Now it has a different name, I think. When I was here with no gates and everything, I mean, it still looks kind of weird. But we can go around and in the back, there's like a, a stadium where we used to do like sports. I was good at sports, so let's go. Like it's just be chill when you go out. So smaller now. I remember one of the things that they used to make us do is run around it like three times and when I was small I thought oh my god this is so difficult. Three times? It's huge! This is the backyard of the school and a, a lot of things here are new constructions like this house or whatever. 
this. I think this should be the library. It does. It does look like fell out game for sure. And 150 years after the apocalypse. I like to just hang out up here, high and very far from the other kids. Didn't have many friends in school, just a few. And they were nerds just like me. So there is a tradition connected to the school here in like post-Sovietic area, which includes many, many countries in Eastern Europe. Uh, basically, it's something like the first bell in the beginning of the year of school and the last bell, which is, you know, the last day of school. And that would that meant that everybody had to come uh, dressed up, pretty, and we would stay here and look in that direction. And on those stairs, they used to be like, they used to put some equipment, microphones that used to have a like, huge feedback <laughs> and like the school director and secretary would have a speech and also <laughs> and then and then uh, sometimes they would like bring up some good students and give them something like a small little paper that says you're good <laughs> or something yeah that's tradition today I hope you liked this episode of bananas it was filmed in my home city the place where I was born and grew up the capital of Moldova Chisinau I am very happy I did that because it's been a while for me um, I was not here since I was probably 18 or 20 or like between 18 and 20 years old it's um, very interesting to go back and see where you come from and realize what you are. It is definitely thanks to uh, what we go through in our childhood and the way we grow up and the people we meet and the experiences we had. So I am not ashamed to share this with you, although uh, the poverty and the lower level of life condition, I guess, um, is kind of embarrassing but not to me. I'm glad you know this part of my story, this part of my life. I love you. Don't forget to smile. See you later.